Aaron Moreland. Well, the big weather story over the last week or so was the snowstorm. Now, as we move through the next week or so, the big weather story is going to be frigid air returning to the U.S. <laughs> and you can see the beginning of that on your seven day temperature trend. Tomorrow will be colder. Look for a high right around 20. We'll see mid 20s on Friday. We'll warm back up into the 30s over the weekend and then it looks like it's going to turn sharply colder as we head into the middle part of next week with highs in the teens and then probably single digits as we head towards next weekend. Right now we are looking at slowly falling temperatures across the area after highs in the lower to mid 30s. We are now looking at mainly upper 20s to lower 30s out there. Although Anago has now dropped down to 22 degrees in Appleton. It is 28 degrees. We have mostly cloudy skies with west winds at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Cloudy skies here in Green Bay after snow for much of the morning and afternoon. You can see it is clearing off to the west. However, we have northwest winds at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's a look at some of the snow totals from yesterday and today. Wapaka coming in with 10 inches. We had 9 inches in Swamico, also 9 inches across the Fox Cities area, about 7 inches in Sturgeon Bay and Oshkosh, over 8 inches officially in Green Bay, and in Fond du Lac we had right around 5 inches. So once again, as you take a look at the map for northeast Wisconsin, you can see the heaviest totals were from the Fox Valley north and west, much less off to the south and east. Thank Thanks to some mixing and also some dry air punching in. Here's what I forecast for the storm. This is the exact same forecast map that I showed on Monday. And for the most part, it worked out. Not every single snowstorm goes exactly as planned, but for the most part, this one actually did. Here's a look at precision radar showing the snow winding down across east central Wisconsin. Just a few leftover flurries now across parts of Brown County, uh, Manitowoc County, and Kiwani County. The the whole bigger part of the storm is now lifting away from the Great Lakes. There you can see it headed off towards the north and east. High pressure builds in for tonight and tomorrow morning. That means clearing skies, lots of sunshine tomorrow morning, and colder temperatures. Today was the 13th straight day with at or above normal high temperatures. That will change tomorrow. We're going to be looking at highs running about 5 to 6 degrees below normal. Precision cast shows clearing skies this evening, sunshine tomorrow morning, and then here comes our next weather maker as we head into tomorrow. Tomorrow evening. It's a weak little system, an Alberta clipper, and it may touch off a period of very light snow or just a few flurries. So your forecast for tonight calls for clearing skies. It's going to turn colder. Overnight lows will be in the single digits. Tomorrow, sunshine mixing with some clouds, and then we'll have that chance for a little bit of light snow or a few flurries once we get into the late afternoon or evening. Look for a high temperature right around 20. That's a good 10 to 15 degrees colder compared to what we saw today. Another weak system on Friday may produce a couple of flurries. The same goes for Saturday as we warm up. Gusty winds on Sunday, a chance for some light snow. Highs getting up into the 30s. Then a more potent system moves through with Monday and Tuesday and maybe some accumulating snow. And then behind that, we start to turn progressively colder as we head through the middle and end part of next week. So we saw a big snow across northeast Wisconsin. Of course, we start talking about this potential winter storm well over a week ago. Was it hyped up too much? I'm going to talk about that coming up on Wisconsin tonight in about an hour and a half, roughly. I think it's definitely nice to be prepared, and we were prepared. Yeah, it's always good to know what potentially could be headed your mm -hmm. way, and I think we, we did that for the most part. All right. Thanks, Cameron. Okay. Well, now let's take a look at what you'll see tonight at